Good afternoon and welcome back to the garden. Today is Sunday, November 7th. It's 72 degrees. It's beautiful. Almost like a spring day. Can you, can you believe we had frost on some of the mulch yesterday morning? That's the roller coaster ride of fall. The leaves are coming down, so we took time today to go ahead and bring in some more mulch. Let's go ahead and talk about soil health. Now one of the things we really like to use is crushed up leaves. You can take your mower and drive over them a couple times and crush them up. But we also like full on leaves. Now the light crushed up leaves are really good for a mulch when you have stuff that's already sprouted. We've got our brassicas and our beets in here. We'll just add a little bit. That's all you gotta do. At this point, bringing in mulch, I like to just pile it up. Well, I still have quite a lot of things growing, so we're not gonna spread it out yet. But by piling it up, you do cover up some of that bare soil. If we don't do this, weeds will start growing. Mother Nature wants the ground covered one way or the other. Now with leaves, obviously there are no seeds. So you're not gonna have anything growing in the leaves. With the exception of a squirrel bearing a, maybe an acorn or a hickory nut, and those trees are pretty easy to to pull up at that time. You're doing your final mowing on the grass, you may pick up some seeds. But those will be either smothered out with the leaves and the wood chips and the hay, or if they do sprout, you just kick them out with your toe. We have talked about that in the past. The whole reason we use deep mulch to cover the ground is for the soil health. Now that soil, the soil has a web of life that's going on in there. There's bacteria, there's fungus, there's nematodes, there's a bunch of mycorrhizones, another microbial life. You also have your worms and you have grub worms, some of which are really good for the mulch, some of which produce some bugs that we really don't want. I'm not going to spray anything on this. We're going to let nature take care of itself. When nature's in balance, it does pretty much take care of itself. I think you've seen the results over the last couple of years. We're going into our third winter, which will make next summer our fourth summer doing the deep mulch. One of the best ways we've found to feed the life under the soil is to have some oxygen with it. So if you're gonna use just leaves that you rake up, they will flatten out just like pages in a book. You will get leaf mold as it's eaten from the bottom, as the worms come up through it. So I don't see that there's a real drawback for that, but crushed up leaves will do the same thing once, that, once you get some rain on it, a little snow on it, it'll pack it down and it'll slow some of the oxygen to it. Grass and hay will turn more anaerobic than your leaves. So I like to use a combination of the crushed up and the whole leaves. I also like to mix in the greens with the browns, which is how you compost, but it's a cold compost. And that allows to feed the bigger organisms and it also helps feed the smaller organisms. You see right here, we dug those last sweet potatoes in here a couple weeks ago. We've already got things sprouting. So we just want to cover that up. And since we're doing leaves today, we don't even have to spread it out. That's all we do. There's a whole web of life. I've got a spider right here. If I dig down, I know I'm gonna come into some worms. Now you were here with me when I started putting this mulch down. This is the first spot we dug the sweet potatoes. I had leaves up three quarters on this bale. And look how much this has settled. And I know it's improving the soil underneath here. That's eight or nine inches thick right there. do want to pay attention to your edges. You want the edges good and thick. Bermuda grass will try to grow in. If you're next to something you're going to go ahead and cut and drop, go ahead and make piles. That way once you cut and drop it, you have something to cover it with. All right, we're going to take a look at wood chips. When I put these wood chips in last winter, they were thick. I'm right down to soil. These things, just by looking at the top, just by looking at the top, you can't tell how deep it is. It still looks like a layer of chips, and it is, but it's not very deep. I mean, we're right down to soil here. So I'm gonna come back and add some more. Now, the, of course, the stuff on top looks like wood chips. But you get down in here, not very deep. You can see just how broken down this is. I believe that mixing the wood chips in with the grass and the hay and the leaves gives it a nice combination for all the life in the soil. 
they've gone out into the prairie that's been undisturbed and dug down. They've got roots going down 12 feet. I guarantee you, most farms and gardens, we're lucky if we get roots going down just a couple inches. If it's going down 12 feet, it's accessing all of that moisture and all of that nutrients from all that clay, silt, and sand. And believe it or not, you do not have to add fertilizer. The planet has given everything a plant needs in silt, sand, and clay. It just needs something to break it open. Can you believe this is orange clay? Look how nice and easy you can dig into that with your fingers. We're going to cover the whole garden as soon as we finish up with the plants that are out here. Now the earth, the clay, the sand, and the silt has everything a plant needs. You do not have to add fertilizer. The life underneath the soil will break down that clay, will break down the grains of sand, will break down that silty loam, and make all those nutrients available to the plant when it needs it. My nature used to be to till all this beautiful organic material into the soil. And it will break down, but it takes it a long time and it binds up all the nitrogen. Remember, the better the mulch, the better the soil. The better the soil, the better the plants. The better the plants, the better the harvest. So tilling not only breaks up the web of life, it slows down the organic decomposition. I'm telling you, you can do this. It's pretty easy. There is no secret. Four inches thicker, thicker any and all organic material you can get your hands on. So that's what Riley and I do for soil health. That's the results we get. You can do this too. It's really easy. You just get your organic material, spread it four inches thicker, thicker across your entire garden, pull that mulch back, plant into the soil, and that's all you gotta do. And that's the secret. So remember, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Good boy. Is that good? Is that good, buddy? Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.